we need a stronger European industrial policy. We want uh, to build uh, with Germany some very concrete proposals. I think that we have to take all the consequences of what happened with Alstom Siemens. We need, on the one side, to change the competition rules so that we will be able to build European industrial champions. Having champions that are active and successful in the global market that are newly built is of high importance uh, for all of us. This is on the one hand the question how we could combine forces of certain companies that then are able to compete with big competitors somewhere else. And it is the basis for having an open market where we are able to compete at other places and other companies from abroad are able to compete in our market, which is how we understand a global economy. The purpose is to have new European world champions. That's the purpose for the next decades. And if we want to be successful and to be able to face the competition with the US and China, we need that kind of world champions, which means, first of all, a renewal of the competition rules, which uh, have been defined in the 20th century and which do not fit the 21st century. So we will make very uh, concrete proposals, for instance, to have remedies that will not be defined from the very beginning, but that might be added step by step, depending on the evolution of the economic situation. That might be one of the proposals that we can put on the table. Industrial policy, the French and German finance ministers this morning set out their ideas to almost revolutionise um, antitrust and competition policies, and one of them would include uh, possible referrals of EU Commission competition decisions to the European Council. Let me first say that I fully understand the concern of uh, French and uh, German ministers. Uh, and I understand where this concern is coming from. It's coming from the fast technological change which have a very significant or may have very significant impact to, um, to the competition environment and to the real economy. <coughs> when, when saying this, I mean that it's, it's easier to become a market dominant player than before. And especially these concerns are coming from the changing role of China. Because um, there are doubts that, or there are people think that there are, and this may be true in some cases, that there are state operators or private op operators enjoying this state subsidies and, and winning to market in um, an unfair manner. So, first I want to just conclude that I, I fully understand where the concerns are coming from. Second point I want to make is that we have to be very careful what problem we want to address and what are the best instruments. I am not 100% sure whether competition policy is the source of this changing uh, logic in the market or if our competition policy hinders the growth of European competition. As I said, I'm open to look at this issue also, but I'm not 100% sure that the, it is exactly the competition policy which should be reformed or opened. So um, if we act wrongly and in short-sighted manner, it might lead to a situation where the com competition in the European market is reduced and as a consequence prices are going up and the quality of services or product may, may, um, may come worse.